All right, Tuesday morning, and we're out here to fly, but I don't know if that's going to happen because it's uh, raining, and not sure how low the clouds are. I just saw 3-3 uniform take off, though, and uh, did a flight pattern, come down, landed, back taxiing now, ready to take off again, I'm assuming. So, there is flying, I just don't know for how long, or... Uh, just get what we get and uh, might be ground school today we'll see okay not only am i flying today in this weather but uh we're getting to take the warrior out which is uh one of the planes i'm considering buying not this one particularly but the style plane so it's going to be pretty exciting the uh banana berry over there is in for its 100 hour service so can't really take that one up today so I'm going to get ready to uh, do the pre-flight on this one now and uh, I'll let you know how it goes later. I don't think we need the sunglasses. Uh, not today. <laughs> There's certain days when you need stuff and other days when you don't. And today be one of them you don't need it. Okay, so down to the master switch. You have your logbook handy with you? Mm. You have your logbook handy with you? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 And now you can hear the electric gyro spinning up. This is electric, and these are these are up here. So the, one of those has to be electric. So if you can hear it, you can hear that gyro spinning up. For. Just confused as the, the the switches for the lights and stuff. Like oh, that. Uh, here's the anti anti collision right there, and oh, okay. that's the, these these don't have split switches. So landing lights on, and this is the landing light and the anti collision. That's all you need. Okay. The, these are you touch all these here. You don't touch that. It's a pedo heat. Okay. We don't need that. All right. Hold on. Let's see. Fuel pressures. Right in the same place there. Yep. It's up. Yep, it's up from zero. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, this one prime the same, two pumps. Yeah, yeah in but I, actually, it hasn't flown yet today, so I do about three. Okay. okay. There you go. Turn it up a little bit. There's a key. Okay. Clear! You know, I'm just gonna find the. Uh, uh, right, it's hidden. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Now, what I do is start it with your left hand because sometimes you need just a little bit of. Yeah. Oh, because this has the. Yeah, this, this is the accelerator pump, so it's like a 67. I'll get, get a new one of those. Looks like that's been broken. This has a radio master switch right there. Okay. Very good. And uh, that uh, and that turns on the radios here. This is the number one comp, number two comp. They got the GPS right here and radio package right there. Okay. The second comp is just like a backup That's redundancy. Back, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it's not an emergency. Most airplanes have uh, two radios. We all have two radios except for three, three uniform. And this way here, if I'm going somewhere, so I can listen to ATC. I can listen to ASOS. I don't have to leave the frequency. I can listen. Okay. I can like I can do this and I can have this radio switch up so I know I'm going from here to here so I can uh, switch radios that way there. Okay. And strand transponder is already on. Yeah, yeah, it's on standby. Yep. And again, all these airplanes here with these big things, they have to put graphite grease in there. So just be careful when you put your hands up here; you don't get the grease all over you. Okay. All right. So let's see. Uh, we're in five three eight. Yeah. Yep. Great Barrington five three eight. Yep. Great Barrington five three eight. Radio check. 
538, you're loud and clear. Altimeter is 2979. Roger, 2979. Roger, 2979. Oh. Roger, 2979. So the easiest way to do this, that's 740 feet. That's the airport elevation right there. And I look, 2980, uh, that's close enough for government work. Okay. So you trust... Yeah, what you do is... The wait, wait, no, 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 yeah, no matter what I do, if it says 2979, I put 2979, it should be about the airport elevation. There it is, right about the airport elevation. Right. But I mean, that's reading just off, so you yeah. would, you would typically just, know yeah, this is yeah, 740, yeah. so you stick yeah, can, it can I, can I tell a difference? I really can't tell a difference between that and that, so, yeah, very okay. good. All right, fine. Uh, hey, hey, Peggy, it's been good for uh, takeoff and landings up there. Uh, you can get down. You can get down the valley a little bit uh, with no no problem, but uh, it's uh, over the hill is not not good. Okay, off we go. We'll take taxi back for two nine. Okay, so we got tow brakes today, yep. so we're gonna try not to abuse them. So again, what I do is you can't use both at the same time. So take your feet off the tow brakes because uh, you won't. If I do that, I can't unlock that. Oh, okay. So I unlock that. So now you just now you want to check your tow brakes, and so I just give it go forward a little bit. No, give it a little bit of power. Just give it a little bit of power. And I just put, put both on at the same time. You're checking to make sure that they're both going straight, because if it starts going this way here, we know one brake has failed. Okay, okay, now I'm going to do my side. Okay, I'm going to. They're independent, but they use the same system. If I use this here, then I can't use the handbrake. If I'm using the handbrake, it locks out the, the toe brakes. Okay, that's going to take a bit to get used to. No, it's just, well, the thing is on landing, if you use the toe brakes and you use one too, too much pressure on one side, you're going to go to that direction. Now we're going to come, here's the stop, look, and listen line. Looks good. And now what you do is just check. Now I just told everybody to back taxi on 2-9 down the runway. Great Barrington, 5-3-8, back taxi on runway 2-9. Yep, and then what it is, if you go down, if it's wet like this and there's nobody in pattern, we go down the runway because there's going to be puddles of water on the, uh, on the, on the taxiway. And, okay. Do you have any questions on anything you've been doing so far? Um, no, no. Uh, going for a little bit of a extra ride with the whole new plane today i was just uh, you know getting that starting to get that comfort zone on two zero romeo yeah. so yeah it's going for a check ride uh, and then it has a hundred hours the hundred hours here's the situation when you go for your check ride you have to know what the airplane can do uh we rent airplanes so every hundred hours it has to have a hundred hour inspection but we right. do an annual on every hundred hours and they happen you know in the winter time you know once every other month or once a once a month this time of year they do it like twice a month because they're flying so much wow so what they do is a hundred hours if it runs out of a hundred hours Okay, I can still rent the airplane solo. Okay, so I go up to 110. The next uh, 100 hours has to be done at 90. It has to average out to 100, 100 hours. So if I go five hours over, I got to do it five hours prior. If I go eight hours over, I can't go more than 10 hours over. That's the only thing. Okay. And I can't fly dual with it. I can only fly solo with it. Interesting. Uh, I, I know everything comes down to liability, but uh, I'm trying to see where the liability falls between a, a dual and a solo. Oh. Well, you would think you'd, you'd want an instructor with him if it's out of 100 hours, but what happens is when it's 100 hour, it's just a rental, and it's not a, an instruction. So okay. it'd, it'd be like your own airplane, and uh, they, they allow you to uh, fly. You, you only need the annual on your airplane, but they allow us uh, for purposes, uh, uh, as long as you're not teaching it, you go a couple hours over. It on GPS is Pittsfield, and uh, you can put the Great Barrington. And it shows you how to get to an airport, and draws a pick line, and all that. Tells you even tells you ground speed. All right, actually, now the whole tow brake and rudder thing is a whole different different game because of the. Well, if you want to just play it as with uh, just the regular rudders and the handbrake, that's fine too. Yeah, that's what some people do. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to yep. trying to get comfortable. Yep. It's a whole new experience yep. here, so. We're here for you. Okay. All right, so parking brake is set. RPM 2000. Not creeping. Uh, magnetos. Ah. Brake drop. 
drop. Not much of a drop on the car beat. Um, but if there's any question, you can always bring it up to a higher RPM, and then with a the higher RPM, you should you get a drop now. A little more noticeable? Yeah, yeah, it's a little more noticeable when you do a high. Everything at a higher RPM is more noticeable. Okay. Uh, green, green, green. Yeah, we're going to make sure you shut that off. Oil sure. pressure's Just a little... Check the engine room. Oh, oil, okay. Yeah, oil pressure always runs on the high side, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, vacuum gauge, where's that one hiding? Okay, same. Five yeah, and back top. Okay, and fuel selector, right tank, uh, fuel pump on, um, gauges, uh, temps coming up, green and green, those were both, primer is locked, rich, herb heat is off, Ammeter's doing its thing. Lights on. So let those I mean, two. I, yeah, we turn all the lights on because we want to oh. be seen. Yeah. So on takeoff, it should be all on except for this one here on most of our airplanes. Okay. And if, you, if you're flying in the closet, that goes. All right. So flaps go to two. Trim is where's the indicator? Uh, indicator's down here. See right here. See, see the uh, see the down. See that little white line right there. It should be right where the M is. There you go, good. To trim it up, you pull the wheel up. To trim it down, you push the nose down, okay? Either watch this. This is trim up. That. And if you go the wrong way, you'll soon find out. Figure it out quick enough. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, all right, so, where are we? Okay, heading here, we are... 170. I always want to say 17, because there's no zero on there. Okay. Now this is off a little bit because we moved the airplane without the engine started, so just push it in and turn it to the... There you go. And... So let's see, altimeter we already set, transponder to... Alt. Okay. And... Rolls. Are free? Yep. Free? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that... that. That's, that, it's just spring-loaded, so it's nice. It yeah. keeps, keeps it in there. Again, something new to get used to. Uh, doors and windows are locked and latched. Lots and latched. And feet built staff, that's it. And uh, the briefing of... Okay, the standard standard briefing is I'm going to line up with the runway. I'm going to hold the brakes. I'm going to act uh, full power and I need a minimum of 2150 for, uh, that's what the light combing says, I need 2150 RPM for safe takeoff. And as you go down the runway, it's going to increase, the RPM will increase because you have less uh, resistance on the prop. Everything's in the green, I release the brakes. Halfway down the run, I mean a third of the way down the runway, the airspeed should be up from zero, so then we uh, continue on. And if we lose the engine, that's straight ahead and deal with it as possible. All right. And Go fly it. Yep, and I just got to tell everybody to say great brain. Yeah, oh. uh, it's all right. It's all, you can leave it on. Uh, leave it off. Just use the tow brakes there. Or I'm going to do this for now just because. Okay. Yep, and they just tell everybody to just say great Barrington 538, departing runway 29, staying in a pattern. Great Barrington 538, departing runway 29, staying in the pattern. Okay. Off we go. Every inch of runway, right? Yep. It's a little cooler right now, so you, you know you, you still want to get in the habitats in every inch of runway. But the airplane will perform a lot better today than uh, it has been in the last couple of days. When you just said uh, line up, tow brakes. Full throttle, yep, yep, 2150. Everything in the everything green. Everything in the green, so we're from there to there. Up there, perfect. Looking for airspeed. Okay. A little nervous with the big plane here. Gonna find out if it flies really nice. All right, look at those trees at the far end of the runway. You can see the white line is off to your right, but it's no big deal, because I'm heading right towards that last white line on that nice angle. Right. See that? There you go. It's all right, everything's in the green. 
Same, uh, same, same, same speed, yep. Okay. That's got more power than the one. Wow. So it flies a little nicer. That is a whole different world. Now we just got to turn a couple degrees to the right for our neighbors. Head turn right to heading about 35, 310. There you go, that's good. Now again, as I do it here, now I got these open fields for, you know, once I pass this here, I'm just going to turn a little bit this way, so if I lose the engine, I got these open fields, okay? okay. So now I can bring your flaps up. Uh, yeah, this thing feels like it has two of the other engines. Yep, yep. It's amazing how just a couple of horsepower. Yep, makes all the difference in the world. But even being on a bigger plane. I don't know. And now we're going to turn it. Going to turn it. Right, Travis, car two one eight one to Alpha Juliet. It's going to be coming in behind. Now you're going to tell everybody that you're in Great Barrington five three eight crosswind runway two nine. Great Barrington five three eight crosswind runway two nine. And if there's too much water, air on your legs there, they got the, okay. the vent on Roger, the side. Travis, car two one eight one to Alpha Juliet. Three mile forty five. Oh, yep. ninety. So as we do, see the end of the mountain down here when it comes down. That's yep. easy now. Here's 1700, so we're just going to bring the power back and just do a level turn now. And usually, if you just turn right towards the edge of the mountain like that, there you are. Okay. And you can run. Perpendicular. Okay. Yep. And now you can see Wellington and Country Club between these. See the uh, open field down there on the side of the hill there? Yep. That's the golf course, but down there, but just past the clouds. That's so the downwind? Yeah, that's where you turn the downwind, okay? So, everybody you knows what you're doing is a straight low flight, so you want to maintain 1700. So, just reach no, down no, there and get a little turn. Take it right, right off the wheel. Take it right off the wheel. Take it right off the wheel. There you go, see? There's, there's, there you go. So now you can see that open field of trees in it up here. So now I just tell everybody to turn it downwind. Great Barrington, 538, turning downwind, runway 29. There you go, stop and turn, there you go. And now is a good time to do your landing checklist. Okay, fuel on proper tank, yep, mixture's rich, electric fuel pump is on, we leave it right at that. Okay, but now I see you climbing, so I need bring the power back a little bit. It's a little cooler than normal, might need a little bit more down trim. Travis, the traffic, go through 60 of downwind for two north drivers. All the gauges are in different places, so it's... <laughs> yep, yep. Definitely. When you're doing, when you're doing takeoff and landing, you should be looking outside the entire time. Inside here, it doesn't mean too much right. at all for a little bit there. See, right now, there's clouds down the valley, so there's not much we can... <coughs> but the fact is, it's this airplane is the same for the landings, but the thing is, if you can get the nice pattern on these calm winds, it's going to make a big difference. Okay. So here it is, okay, now coming up on the uh, time to slow the airplane up, so again, put the carburetor heat on. I just bring the power back below 2,000. This is the same thing as that. I'll put down one notch of flaps. Nice and easy. I just Gotta let keep the, the nose up, right? No, no, let, the, let the airplane do its thing here. Taking it off the wheel, should be about 95 to 100. Perfect. See that speed? Perfect. And okay, I'll put down your second notch. And I just take your hands off the wheel, just see that nose comes up, so it needs a little bit of, a little bit of down trim. It's sure. opposite the 140s because they just got the longer wing. And I put okay. the third notch down. And then just see, 80 miles an hour, perfect. You see the L-shaped barn down there? Yep. And you see the house on the hill I can't afford right there? We turn right between there and the base. So now, right turn base. So take a look at the airport in good shape. Okay, now, now I just bring the power back just a little bit. Now just watch the nose. As you do that, just watch the nose. See it? Look, watch the nose. See the nose has to come down. So there it is. And I see the nose is coming down. I'm heading right down between these two houses. And you see the trees, the way they go here, right across the road, and make that little angle right there? We follow right over that and went out over any houses, and, okay. and the neighbors like it that way. 538, or Great Barrington, 538, turning base. Base, runway 29. Yeah, now see, you've so you got to take your hand front, so you got 80 miles an hour, that's perfect. Okay, yeah. so if it's a little faster, you just bring a little bit of up trim. But there it is, now you get a nice thing. Now usually you want to be about 1,300 feet over this L-shaped barn, which you're at, right about 1,300. And you want to be about 1,000 to 1,100 feet over those trees at the end of the cornfield. So now all you do is head right towards the uh, that white building there, the White House. Now you're going to have to add a little bit of power because you can see it sink down just a little bit. There you go. All they do is watch the nose to the runway. Nose to the nice and easy, nice shallow bank. There you go. I'm going to try and set, see, you're gonna, you don't want to angle in, so just, there you go, just like that, perfect. 
Uh, here it is. It just leave it right like that. Just let the airplane tell you what it's doing, okay? You need to bring the power back just a little bit more. Now just let the nose down because it's trimmed for that speed, right? Now I see the second runway line pass the numbers 29. This the white line. That's our spot. See, it appears to be stationary. That's where the airplane's coming down. Here, you got the airport maintenance up in power all the way off, okay? Now the nose wants to go down, so just hold it right on that second runway line. See that second runway line right like that? Holding it right like that. As we approach it, now it is, I'm just looking at the far end of the runway. See this here? Now I'm just going to hold it right like this here. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. And once I'm on the ground, just look at the far end of the runway. And now I can start using my brakes, either hand or the uh, pill brakes, whichever one you want. Okay. I got out the tear brakes here. A little... Very nice. A little bit of love there, don't they? Yep. yep, now we're going to go to the end and we'll swing around and we'll get the airplane. Actually, this my combo wins, so we'll do so. We're gonna alternate runways. How's that? Get more takeoff and landings. Hey. Yeah, Great Barrington. Right. Uh, we're gonna alternate runways because the winds are calm, so we're gonna be taking off on one one now. Yeah, getting used to the rudder tow brake combination is takes some real work for sure. Well, this is gonna get you a little bit different runways. I uh, get both runways at the same time with calm winds, so this. Anytime you're doing this, here, you always you never want to face the bank there because if the brakes fail, there. You go. Gotcha. Yeah, it's good right there. Now we'll get our takeoff checklist right there on the side here. Off checklist right here. is, okay, fuel on proper tank. Uh, fuel pumps on, engine is checked green. Uh, flaps. That's 25 degrees, same as the other one. Okay, uh, carb heat is off. Um, there's rich. X trim uh, oh, okay okay uh controls free and I just gonna controls tell everybody you just tell me that uh, great Barrington five three eight departing one one staying in the pattern great Barrington five three eight departing one one staying in the pattern uh, again, as you line up with the runway, that white house all the way down there is all you need to look at. Just look outside, and, and you should. All you have to do is, uh, as you just uh, give it power, you don't have to stop this time because you already know you know you got full power. But you're just going to let it roll out. And you see that you got full power, just let it come right on there. And off we go. And I'll look at that white house and see that little, little just a little, there you go, just like that. You don't have to go over on there. If they, see, you're heading right towards the end of the race, getting nicely beautiful, just like that. Um, there's my flying speed, so I'm nice and easy. I can just run. 60? Yep. There you go. Oh, a little harder on this one, huh? But then she goes. Now, you, now just it's down to give it a couple turns of trim up on the trip. Just roll it back a couple turns. Uh, just take the pressure off. Yeah, that's good. Now, just take hands off the wheel. See? The airplane's jumped up for 80. That's, that's what I want. The airplane's all nice and trimmed. Little. So what happens is I can just sit there and I don't have to worry about slowing down or stopping my climb. It's trimmed up for that speed. And now we take our flaps up. Now we take off on runway 11. The hospital, the uh, Fairview Hospital is right on the back side of this hill here. Okay. So we always turn. Go take your flaps up. Turn. We're going to turn before that, but I'll show you why. See this big open field? We lose the engine. See this big open field right here? Yep. That's our landing spot right here. Okay. Okay. If we lose the engine, then we're going to go right in there. Okay. So I think if I hold the 80 miles an hour, that's going to allow me to climb up and get to my altitude as quickly as possible. And there's my... Uh, okay. And I just check and make sure there's nobody coming this way, and I just continue climbing turn to the left. Uh, right to a heading of, I uh, see those open fields on the side of the hill up there, right north of okay. the barn. There you go. There but, we, but again, if oh. I hold my 80, what happens when I go to 100, I stop my climb. And the idea is I want to hold my 80 all the way around so okay. I can get to my altitude as quickly as possible. The 80 miles an hour. There we go. 290 is the heading. And there's another band of showers coming in just to the west. Okay, there, now, now all I do is level off, so I bring the power back. And as I look straight ahead, all I'm doing is lower the nose. See that open field, the green field straight ahead? It's going to go a little bit to the right here. There you go. There it is. I'm just going to bring the power back. And they get trim it out, trim it out. No, no pressure on your hand. Right down, turn. There you go. Good. Okay, landing checklist. Fuel on proper tank. Yep, mixture's rich. Electric fuel pump is on. Looks good.
for the runway, so carb heat on. Now again, I just stare at these oh, green fields, okay? Bring the power back below 2,000. You gotta bring the power back below 2,000. Below 2,000. Got there, now, that's good. Anyways, there's good, okay? Now just hold that nose down so it doesn't climb. There should be a pond right down here in these white buildings up here. We're gonna turn just past, just before these white buildings down here. That's uh, the propellants and all okay. the, that group right down there, okay? Just okay. before the white building? Uh, yeah, right about now. We want to see the airports behind us, but see we're really high, so bring the power back, bring the power back, bring, bring it all the way off. Yeah, put down your second nudge flaps. There you go. Now take a look at the runway. See the runway behind us? Yep. There we go. Great Barrington, uh, 538, turning crosswind. Uh, base. Base, turning yep. base. Or one one. One one, yep. There you go. Now we can now put down the third notch. And I just get, take bring your power up to 2,000. Yep, up to 2,000. Now take it right off the wheel. Just see what happens. See what the airplane does. Okay. Now here, one one is, is an interesting runway. See the trees at the end of the runway. See the trees touching the end of the runway. If I keep those trees touching right there, I'll miss the trees, and I'm going to land. See where the uh, cross, where the uh, uh, actually goes across the runway. <clears throat> right about there is where I'll land, and I'll be clearing the trees because there's nothing between me and the runway. Uh, the trees. Now, if the trees start getting, there's a gap between us, and see, there's a gap forming between the runway and the trees. Now it's getting a little high, so I just bring the power back a little bit. This, and I just watch the nose. You see, you those trees are in good shape. That's a little bit of a wing correction angle. Here we got the airport mates. I bring the power all the way off. And now you got there, pond. Just let it come down. You see that second runway line appears to be stationary. So just let it come down like that. Perfect. See, it? let it come down. And now break the glide, and just look at the fire, and I hold it right there, hold it off. Hold it off, nice and easy, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. And now, beautiful. And now you got the brakes, either both two brakes with your feet, or one with the handbrake, your choice. Very nice. There a lot of pressure. That's that? The brakes require a fair bit of pressure. Yeah, well, we land a little fast there, so that, that's, a, that's uh, always my job. If you got a 5,000 foot runway, you can let I, it run. I'm going to go back here for a minute. Just yep. go back to that comfort quick. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's what, that's what it's all about. It's all about. And then this way here, you got 538 five, five, is the uh, uh, 56558. Five, that's the uh, the Cherokee 140 with the tow brakes and the handbrakes. Uh, and uh, 33 three and 20 Romeo don't have the tow brakes, they have the handbrakes. And then, you know, and if you're comfortable with this in here, we could solo you on all three airplanes that way there. You just, you know, you can fly any airplane. Okay. A little breath here, because that's a lot. Uh, yep. Mostly, I've trained myself to look in specific locations and, yep. and, and things are... But well, usually when you're doing takeoff and landings, I look outside. You know, I you know if I have people staring here too much, I just cover that right up. I said I need you to look outside, fly the airplane by looking outside because you go to an airport. You know, 1700 here. You know, you'll say 1800, 2200, or 1300, 1400 cent. But if you look outside, okay, I can see what I'm look like. What what looks to be a thousand feet above the ground. Well, you have that yep. relationship. I I'm still. Uh, oh no, you're going to develop it. You yeah. you will develop it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. I right? spend more time working on my ground reference because like I was just I was looking for the references for 29 yep, when exactly. we were just doing 1-1 one, one, and I was yep, like yep. I'm looking for the uh, uh, the buildings and the house you say you can't afford and I'm yep. like well, uh, this case here is looking at the the green fields and the white buildings and then the final okay okay we gotta take off and land here all right I feel like this is an emergency break for some reason there you go okay so Okay, so let's see. Let's just go real quick. Fuel on proper tank. Yep, electric fuel pump is on. Mixture is set. And you get just check. Flap set. Carburetor heat is off. There you go. That's the one I was looking for right there. Okay, and off we go. And Great Barrington, 538, departing 29, staying in the pattern. Nice. 
we still have four to five miles of visibility, okay? These clouds here is coming up the edge there, and we get, we'll be able to get to our 1700s, 15 or 17, 1500 feet is legal, 1400 feet is legal, so we can just do that, and if we, if we get close to 700 feet, uh, 1700 feet too close to the clouds, we'll just go back down a little bit. Because this is class G airspace, and from, seven, from surface to 700 feet, all you need is one mile clear of clouds, okay? So one mile clear of clouds is what we have right now. Once you get above 700 feet, which is 1,400 feet, you have to stay 500 feet below the clouds, okay? So there's that fine line at 1,400, I can, I can stay clear of clouds. At 1,500 feet, I gotta be 500 feet below them. And these clouds are definitely more than 500 feet above us, so. Okay, so now start turning your cross from again. Hold your 80, okay, when you do this, now just gonna turn my turn here, just gonna keep it a little tighter. Is that this here? And we'll level off at 1,500 feet, all right? Okay. That's, a, that's our old pattern. Yeah, we'll go up to 17, right? we got the quads. Okay, so here it is, now just keep coming all the way around. There's the airport right there. There's Wyant and a country club, so we just stay right there. Uh, that's good. Just stay just to the left, the left of the clouds here. I'm just gonna climb right up to 1700, see this here? And I'm just hold, I'm holding the wheel, because that's what I have to do. Okay. Now here's 1,700 feet, so what I get at 17, what I do is I, I got back pressure, so just lower the nose there, you want to do is that's good, you don't have to get the speed up high, okay? To the left of the cloud? Yep. yep. And I can do your, your landing checklist now, okay? So okay. you can slow right up, just start yep. slowing it right up, there, there we go. Fuel's proper tank, mixture's rich, and fuel pumps on. Yeah, once you go around the cloud, you just turn a little bit to the right. Yeah. I see you're still climbing a little bit, so you just got to either give it down, trip down. Now, see, I'm clear of the cloud, so I'm just going to go like this here, see? Just go right around the cloud here. There you go. Airport down below. Okay. And, and I can start cleaning, uh, dirtying the airplane up. Okay, so... Power back below 2,000, carb heat on, one notch of flaps, oops. All right, and runway is getting back there. Yes, yes, they're still high, so I'd go a little, bring the power back a little bit, there you go. Now put down your second notch flaps. A nice and easy, just do a nice easy turn with the nose down. Now, so you're still fast, so you just, there you go, see there's your 80 miles an hour, so there. Now just watch the nose, see, there's your 80 miles an hour. Now there's a runway there, and just keep the windows from the northwest. So I do is today, because I know the winds up 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 at altitude are from the northwest, I gotta turn like this here. Right. Okay, so they don't blow you off. Yep, and I'm gonna turn right towards the airport, like right this here, in this little angle right there. There you go. All right, we're a little I, high at this oh, point. Oh no, right? you're doing fine. I guarantee you, if we lost the engine, we would make the airport. So now you just wow. give just give a little bit of power, just a tad, just 10 or 15 RPM. That's all you need. Now just give it a trim up for 80, trim it a little bit more up for trim. Hang on one second. Down. See if this let it's trimmed up for 80, so let the nose down. Let the nose down. See, there you go. Yeah, you're coming down around. There you go. You got that big garbage truck, so we have to miss him. So just <laughs> as you turn, just bring the nose. There you go. Perfect. And I see that second runway line. That's what we're looking at. Just turn right towards that second runway line. Beautiful. Power all the way off. And now the nose wants to go down, so I just fly the airplane right to that second runway line. And I just keep it coming down, just like now transition to the far end of the runway, and I just come to level flight. Right there, hold it there, and I just hold it off. Hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. Ta-da! Beautiful. All right. Wow. That was nice. Okay. And I will do one on one one, okay? This way here we get more takeoff and landings in an hour, but the winds are comp, it also gives you the exposure to both runways. Okay, don't touch anything yeah, until... Yeah, I'm going to get you ready for takeoff. Right. You're all set for takeoff. We're just going to go right around. Today, we're just going to... I'm going to take all this stuff here. Okay. We got the proper tank. Yep. Fuel mixer. Pitch. Yep. Yeah, that. Looks good. Okay. So just on me departing runway one. One staying in pattern. Great Barrington 538. Departing runway one one. Staying in the pattern. Obviously stop to... Yep. Look. 
And, uh, Terry, you might want to call Steve and just tell him that uh, the weather's up and down and uh, we might not be able to do anything today. Uh, but if he wants to come out, I can give him dual solo takeoff, uh, dual takeoff lines, but I doubt he'll be able to go because of the, uh, the, the storm, uh, the visibility's up and down. Off you go. Have Joe take the uh, cover off of uh, Delta Charlie now. Have Matt and Joe take the cover off of Delta Charlie. Cause... Oop. All right, there we go. Hey, speed is a little low, so, yeah, so just, 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 what I do is see it's a little low on the speed, so I keep the wings level, because you need a little bit of right rudder for the torque, that's why it's doing it. So now watch this, I'm just going to lower the nose just a little bit, see, so just lower the nose a little bit, there you go, just like that, there's my speed, now you can take off your flaps. Okay, so 70's not unbearable, I'm trying to shoot for the perfect 80, I yeah, guess, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, 70 is not bad, as long as it's calm, but if it's really windy and gusty, then you got to watch out, okay, now take the rest of your flaps down. I want you to hold 80 all the way around. Now, as I do is I turn to the heading in the north, okay, heading around. But see, the nose, no, you just nice shallow bank. All I need is a shallow bank. See this? If I put too steep of a bank in, I stop the turn because I'm using all the, and you got to push that right rudder for the, for there you go, for the torque. There you go. What I do is, is I do a steep turn. The nose wants to go down because of the, t uh, the uh, turning tendencies. And, and the wing loses lift, And right? it stops, and it stops the climb. Okay, now just roll your wings level for a second. Roll your wings level. Well, I just want to check, make sure there's nobody coming down here. So now I just go ahead and turn you down one. Great Barrington, 538, turning down one. Go on, one. Then I know, all I do is nice, easy, 10, all I need is 10 or 15 degree bank turn. Again, if I go to 20 to 30, I'm going to stop the climb, and I'm just going to make that noise of the neighbors because it's going to make a lot of noise as I level off. Okay, so now watch this. Here I come at 1,700 feet, so I'm just heading right here at a nice angle. I don't need to keep the speed up because I'm staying close. Okay, so I just made a power right back. Right back 21, 2200. There you go. And I got those fields off in a distance. I can see this heading here. It's 290, 300 degrees. There you go. I'm just going to trim it out. Just take hands right off the wheel. So just trim it. It's easy to make it trim it so it's straight and level flight. There you go. Perfect. And I got my landing checklist. Fuel on proper deck. Make sure rich. Electric fuel pump on. And now I can start slowing the airplane up. So carburetor heat on. And I do this while you're looking straight ahead. Carburetor heat on. All right, there you go. Power is below 2,000. Bring it back a little bit. There. Now just put down your first notch flaps. Okay. Now nice and put your second notch down. Nice and easy. When you do that. Okay. Now just let the airplane slow up. To see what happens. Okay. I'm, I'm preventing it from climbing, but you see the airspeed's coming down? Perfect. Okay. Now put down your third notch. We'll just get that out of the way. Now you just want 80 miles an hour. So I'm heading, all I'm doing is heading towards that open field. See, there's the pond with the island in the middle right down here. Yep. Here, and there's those white buildings right there. That's where I want to turn my base. So now watch this. I want to I want to start down. Okay, so bring the power back. Watch the nose go down. Now just watch this. All you're doing is a nice watch the nose. See this? See that, see that line of trees between the two fields up there? There, yep. there, there, there? That's my base leg. So this, this, I'm watching the nose. I'm going right to those trees. See this here? I got, if I lose my engine, I got those open fields right there. Now there's, see that triangle, that uh, yellowish triangle right there? Yep. The end of the runway goes right through that barn at the end of the triangle. So now I know where the runway is, okay? So there's, there go, now okay, we're coming in here. I just, what was I doing? Watching a little bit of power. There you go, you got the airplane now. Speed's good. Great Barrington, 538, turning base, 1-1. One, one. Okay, now keep your hand on the throttle. There you go, keep your hand right on the throttle. Okay, now turn your, turn, now you want to yep. just, as you do this, you turn. Okay. Okay. But now you see what happens. See the uh, the trees are just, the winds out of the north, so it did blow us through. Okay, but there you go. There's there. Good. And there you go. Great Barrington, 538 on final. That bring, one, one. That bring the power back. Bring the power back. See the trees are coming oh. towards us? There you go. That, that just, all I'm doing is I'm, this is a wind correction angle. The winds bring the power back somewhere. Bring it back somewhere. Bring it back all the way off. All the way off. All the way off. There you go. There, see that second runway right line is what I want. This is the wind correction angle. That wind is a little bit from the north up here, so I have to hold the nose like this in order for me to go straight down the runway. So I'm just going to here, and as I come down here, what's going to happen is I'll, I'll add the rudder to, take the rudder to straighten the nose out. There's here. Okay, now I just hold it off like this, nice and easy. Nice and easy. I just want to roll right on. Okay, and I got the brakes. Very good. 
Now you see how that works? You pick the point and you just let the airplane fly right to it and then I break the glide and just let it roll right on. A good landing will come from a good pattern. So when you get that, the points, you got the points this way here, now you know the points there, okay? So you the, the, the uh, pond with the tree in it. And again, you an optical illusion, but it's not an optical illusion because you are closer to the uh, ground on this runway here because of the hill. So it appears that you're like, I'm, I'm too low, but that's where you want to be. Okay, you're all set to go. Tell me you're off on uh, runway 29, staying in a pattern. Great Barrington, 538, departing runway 29, staying in the pattern. Again, the same exact thing works for the uh, 140s as this here, okay? Speed's exactly the same, and the points remain the same, and the power settings are the same, okay? <coughs> Off we go. And that mountain is four miles away, so I still have my four miles. That's three miles away, so I got three miles. And that mountain is five miles away, so I still got plenty of visibility. And off we go. That ridge way off in the distance, that last set of ridge, that's four miles away, so. I said, he there's my flying space, and I just need to just fly it right off. There you go. Beautiful. Wind is just, wreaking a little havoc yeah, on me for a no, minute. No, no, so I just, that might be, is it just it is, what I'm doing? I've just got wrist your elbow on this, wrist your elbow there. Now, see, I just locked the other one. See this here? I'm using that one little cloud. See this? See the winds? I'm not even letting, I'm not even addressing the winds. The airplane's going to fly itself. It's the aileron's going to neutralize it. Okay? And I take my flaps up. And there's now again that nose wants to go down. So I'm just going to, I'm looking out that cloud. I'm just trying to keep the same attitude. Okay? Take the rest of your flaps up. I got the right rudder in there for torque. See that one dark cloud? All I'm doing is I'm just staring at that. And I'm like, I see the wings got a nice attitude up so I can do that. <clears throat> and I went to turn my crosswind. Okay? Great Barrington, 538, turning crosswind, runway 11. As I'm just see I'm holding the wheel back to maintain my altitude. They see the airplane, airport off my left hand side. Yeah, good shape. You got, you got good up to 1700 feet. We're still VFR, got good visibility, got well below the clouds. So as I'm saying, I'm just continuously holding that power. So I've got my elbow rested here, and I got, see, once I see that, that's how much of back pressure I'm doing to maintain that 1700. Okay. Okay, now here it comes, so now I can just bring the stop your turn, bring the power back. There we go. There we go. Hey, bring the power right back to about 21, 2200, because there we go, perfect. Now you got your landing checklist, fuel on proper tank, yep, mixture's rich, electric fuel pump is on, okay. And what I do is I'm just looking at, I can see the mountain there, so I just want to keep that nose in the level attitude right like that. There's the airport right there, I'm in good shape, clear of all the clouds. There you go. So now we can start putting on carburetor heat on. Because of the moisture you put in on a little yep, sooner? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, now the power is below 2,000. So now put down one. Now watch how I put the flaps down. Watch this. I'm, just, I'm looking straight ahead. See this here? Nice, easy click. Nice, easy click. Okay, and I just let the airplane slow up and see what happens in speed. They can start down now, too. Here's the end of the runway. Okay, so there's my 80 miles an hour. So this is, see, I got a nice descent going, okay? There's the L-shaped barn down there in the house that I can't afford. So now I just usually want to be at 1,300 feet, so I can actually turn a little early if I want, okay? So just now, now what is, watch the nose, see this? I watch the nose to the barn, yeah. nose to the barn. That's all I'm doing is I got that nose down. Now I put down my third notch flaps. There you go. Now, now I don't need that anymore. I'm going to turn right towards the airport, okay? So I just turn right towards the airport. There you go. Now keep your hand on the throttle. See? 80 miles an hour is perfect. There you go. Hold it right there. There you go. Perfect. Let's hold that speed right there. And I'm using that brown barn. See it? That barn, brown barn straight ahead. Okay. That, that's all I want to do. I just want to get, a, I want to get a squared off. See? 80 miles an hour. Ground speed's 59, so we got a 20 knot headwind right here. See this there? Oh, okay. We're in, indicating 80, but we're doing, uh, we're doing uh, 60, so. There we go. As you come now, just now look, there's the end of the runway, and I just bring the power back a little bit. Now you do that, let the nose down. There you go. And usually you're between 1,000 and 1,100 feet over these trees. That's perfect like that. Now see the second line behind the numbers, 29? Yep. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just flying the airplane right to that. Nice and easy. There's no wind. Okay, so now you can bring the power all the way off. Bring the power all the way off. Now just nose wants to go down, so hold it right on that second round. Hold the nose nice and easy. 
<clears throat> there's a flight right to that second run line. Don't over control. See, it's coming down beautifully. 80 miles an hour. Perfect. Now let it keep coming down. 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 Keep coming down. Now transition to the far end of the runway. Bring the nose up to level altitude. Nice and easy. Hold it off. Hold it off. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. There you go. Good. Your questions on that? miles visibility and get more than three miles visibility so I'm in good shape okay and off we go take it out and run baby yep. now you just glanced down here you got 2150 looks good okay looking at that white house and I keep my hand on the throttle that would prevent it from coming down there you go you just put your finger like that if you want however you want to do it that yeah. there Beautiful. Now keep the wings level. Wings, wings level. There you go. Wings level. There you go. There's your flying speed. Beautiful. Up. And what I'm doing is flying towards that brown house up there in the open field there. See that? Nice, easy. That's it. Still got three, four, five miles of visibility in the range hours. It's no big deal. I'll hold the nose up because you want to maintain, maintain the air. Hold the nose up. Now see it like that? So what you can do is you're turning down towards the farm. Hold the nose up. Hold the nose up. There you go. See the airport off your left-hand side. You still got good visibility. You got five miles of visibility. Looks good. I'm just gonna see the, the, the solar panels, just head right towards the solar panel. Uh, that's it, and I just keep it climbing right up to about your 1700. Yeah, it's good to level off here. The winds are the winds are coming from the north here, so there you go. So you gotta put your nose outside a little bit to the right, because see that, see how that winds it? There you go. Now you just use the mountain way off at a distance. That's what all I'm using as a reference. There you go. You got your landing checklist. Okay, fuel's on the proper tank. Mixture's rich, and fuel pump is on. Yep. Now you see the uh, the uh, pond down there with the island in it, and the white buildings down there. That's right. Then you yeah, just head towards the mountain there. That's why I'm turning. So now you can start slowing the airplane up. Start slowing the airplane. Carburetor heat on first. I did. They like today. You can get carburetor is pretty good. Now bring the power back a little bit more. There now, let, and let the nose down there. Now you can put down. Two knots of flaps to start off with. Nice and easy. See that open field there? Just hold that right there so you can see that open field all there. You go, just like that. Now here's I come and I turn the radius, okay? So we just just start to turn your base. See see the open field with the trees on it? So all I'm doing is turning your plane right like this. Nice and easy. There you go. Great Barrington, five three eight, turning base, runway one one. One one. Okay, so now you just you know, put down the third notch. Now you start looking at the airport. See the airport behind us there? And you might need about ten or fifteen RPM. Give it, give it a little bit of power. And usually there's the center of the runway is right over that barn in that little triangle of grass right there. Okay. And usually you want to be about 1,200 feet over that. 1,200 feet is good. There's nobody on final, so now call turning final. Great Barrington, 538, turning final, runway 11. There you go, good. Beautiful. Now just look at that second runway line. That's just all you should do. Now just fly the airplane. Look at the runway. And you can see the airplane needs to go to the left. Just keep seeing. There you go. Just like that. Perfect. And I just lower the nose a little bit. There you go. Got it. Made some bring the power back. Bring the power back. But you, you want to just see this? Fly the airplane right like this to that second runway line. Okay. Bring the power all the way off. Power all the way off. There. You're doing fine. See the speed's good. See that second runway line appears to be stationary. That's not changing, so that's where the airplane's going to come down and land. Okay, so perfect. See this? Second runway line looks good. 
Now I'm just going to break the glide. Nice and easy. Not nice and easy. See? And now I'm just going to let it roll right on. There. And now you got the brake. Feeling good about it? You're doing a really good job. Thanks, Rick. And, it, and the thing is the pattern. If you set up the pattern, I have the points on both sides of the runway. So this way here, next time we come out, and if it's favoring one one, you already know the points, the pond, those houses, and you know, like 1,100 feet over the, uh, the that uh, little triangle. Okay, I'll get you ready for another one here. Just trying to get as many as we can in. Good, hold up just a little bit. Right. And the trim is set, so you're all set to go. This airplane doesn't require much trim, you know, between it maybe just it didn't when you- seem like the, it, it the just, yellow. It's not like the 140s. Okay, off we go. Great Barrington, 538, departing runway 29, staying in the pattern. Again, it's just concentrate on holding your 80, you can get up, uh, is it uh, cool enough? And that mountain is four miles away, so that top mountain, that's four miles away, so I, you know I got four miles visibility. I look at the trees at the far end of the runway, a little bit of right rudder, uh, that's all right. Just make sure your feet are off the brakes, there you go. Feet, everything's in the green. Yep. I just hold the wheel steady, hold the wheel steady. There you go. Now nice and easy. Just rotate the nose up. Beautiful. See how easy that is? Now I'm using my peripheral vision for everything, okay? I don't need to look in here. I can see that my attitude is good. My speed is good. <clears throat> I'm climbing away from the ground. I got good everything, okay? I've really got to get used to like the plane being like yawed, but the still torque, on the air. torque. <clears throat> the higher the horsepower, the more torque you have. So you, that's why I said I just pick. It's kind of I'm picking a cloud. I can see a little bit of a dark cloud straight ahead. So I'm just using that as a reference. There you go. There you go. And we'll be able to go right up to 1,700 feet because the clouds are picking up there. And again, hold your 80. That's on the hold. Your, pull the wheel back to hold your 80. Pull it right back. Pull it right back. Pull it right. Back. Back. Now, what I'm doing is a turn to the left here. See that little red house down there? Heading right down towards that, but hold the nose up. There. Now, a nice shallow bank. So all I need is a 10 or 15 degree bank turn. If I put too much in there, I'm going to stop the climb. See this? I'm just I'm looking up here. I'm just going right here. There's my red house down there. Once I get down there, all I'm doing is I'm going to continue the turn. There's the airport behind us. There's the hill. So I'm looking really good. So all I'm going to do is just continue to turn all the way around. See this here? Holding my 80 miles an hour. Nice and easy, just like this here. You see why ain't in a country club off in the distance there. That's it. Just, it takes a lot of pressure to hold that 80 back. You can give it trim if you want, but not there because once I get, here's my 1700. All I have to do is let the nose down now. Let's let the nose down. There you go. Now just bring the car back. Yeah, now all I'm doing is straight level flight. Okay. Beautiful. And now I'm going to let you try and do this one here. Just try and remember what is it covered? Heat on power below 2,000. Put your flaps down. Let's get the airplane stabilized. And as you get there, at the end of the runway, you can actually start your descent. People wait until they turn their base, and now they're too high. But you can actually start your descent at the end of the runway when you bring the power back. Just let the nose down. Start slowing the airplane up. That's where you start looking at the airport. And, and look, as soon as you see that you're doing good, like, I start turning now, because see you get oh. low. See, so I just turn. Barrington, 538, turning base, runway 29. I turn the airplane, see that wind's blowing us. Turn, 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 turn. Give it a little bit of power, because see how the angle's getting a little shallow there? Okay. And that's the way. Now, I just, I'm going to head right towards that white house up there, okay? Because what happens is that wind is blowing. See how that wind blew us from this far away? Yep. There you go. So as I'm doing a straight level flight here, that's, that's good right, heading right there. That's good right there. You're going to need to power in here to maintain your altitude. All you're doing is straight level flight right now until you feel a good angle. There you go. That's the way. Now just hold this here until the, the center of the runway is in the corner of the field down here. There you go. Yep. That's it. Now you can start bringing the power back very slowly and let the nose down. There you go. There you go. 
Beautiful. Now just stare at the stare at that second runway line, and you can see in your peripheral vision, see the nose coming around, nice and easy. There you go. Beautiful. You got the airport means I'm going to power all the way off, all the way off. Okay, now the nose wants to go down, so just hold it right like that, 80 miles an hour. Now let it come down. See the second runway line that appears to be stationary? That's the point between the second and third where it's going to touch down, so let it come right down. Now transition to the far end of the run. Nice and easy, just come to straight now. No, just nice and easy, straight and level. See this? There's straight and level flight like that. Hold it there, and you're going to hold it off. Holding it off, holding it off. Roll it right down. There you go. Plenty around my left. You're doing really good. You're really doing good. And oh. considering everything's against you, the visibility. So the weather's a twist but, today. But, but it's a twist, but it's making you concentrate on this area here. If, you, if it's clear and zillion, you're out looking here, looking out there, and you, you can get yourself into, you know, where you're not paying attention. We got time for a couple. We'll do one more on one one, and one more on two nine, and that'll be uh, hour. Or you can stay as do as many as you want because we got to, uh, you get to, I think it's 12 o'clock. Okay, let's see. All right, so. Yeah, just do the takeoff checklist again, just. Fuel and proper tank, should we switch it at any point? Uh, we're on the right, no, there's still more fuel on the right hand side right now, so. Okay. All right, so, uh, trim. I have a hard time seeing that knob down there. Wire. Laps are set to two, car impede. Off, make sure it's rich, and I believe we are okay, good. Here we go. Okay. Come here, I'm not going to try to say a word all the way around, okay? I'm going to let you do it by yourself, okay? Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. When I put the blindfold on, that's when it begins <laughs> the pressure. Okay, off we go. Great Barrington, 538, departing runway 11, staying in the pattern. I had, I had one older guy who was learning that, and they said, oh, yeah, he's doing really good. He pulls out his pocket, let's see how good I really am as, oh, you bastard. But he brought the blindfolds from an airliner, you know, he's sleeping, uh, uh, sleeping, uh, thing. Bang, off we go. Now try and keep, what I do is just at least keep your hand out, because that can vibrate okay. back, and what happens is you can lose power and not realize it. Very nice, very, very nice. If his bill is really good now, so I get to Take your time, just enjoy the pattern. The eyes starting to get better, better visibility all the way around. Hey, you bring your flaps up anytime you want. I want you to try and hold 80 all the way around until you get up to 1700. Go ahead and stop your turn right about there, because that's 90 degrees to the runway. Right? You gotta stop your turn, stop your turn, stop your turn. I just get a little, all I'm doing is a straight ahead. Now, but you see you need that rudder. You need, oh. you need to keep your foot on that rudder. Right, right. That's the torque, what you do is you're flying like this here. And get the nose up, nose up, nose up. You have to really, you have to hold that nose back. There. This is your airspeed. If you want 80, you have to see, you got to pull up. See, you got to pull the nose up to get to 80, okay? Just afraid to do anything yeah, nope, nope, nope. overly yep, yep, nope. if you quick see, or if whatever. You, no, I'm just showing you that that's, that's it. If you, right. see, if you see that you're doing uh, shallow, then it's going to take forever to get there. We'll just level off here at 1500 because we're at the end of the run right now. But that's why I said, if you have to, just reach down there and give it a little bit of trim so it maintains 80 so your hands off it. Because happens as soon as you take the pressure off the hand there and it levels off, it stops climbing, okay? Yeah, and the weather's picking up. The weather's picking up nice again now to the west. I see there's the white buildings up there, so here's the pond, so you gotta give yourself a little bit of, uh, that wind is, might be coming up from the board now. So I say there's the, you gotta use those points. I see that white building, uh, there, there it is. Okay, good. Okay, okay so now put your flaps down.
And I turn my base because see the airport and I'm kind of low. So just just turn your base. Okay. But just watch the nose. Watch. Don't pull the wheel back. Don't pull the wheel back. Just let the nose do its thing. And if you're getting low, you have to add power. There you go. We're real low, aren't we? Okay, so add power, just add power, just not, just nice and easy, and we do that, just watch the nose. So what it does, the speed stays the same, and the nose comes up, and it levels off. That's all you do. It's good. And I just give it a little bit more power. There you go. And I just turn, get a very slow turn on the final, very slow turn on the final. Great Barrington, 538, turning final, runway 11. There you go, it's not there, not there, so it is nice and easy. Just hold right here. Now you see the trees are coming. Yep. As they come towards you, it's good. Now start bringing the power back a little bit. Just lead. Go bring the power back. Now let the nose down. 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 Bring the power back. Bring the power back. There you go. Bring the power back. Bring it all the way back. There you go. So we're getting a little bit of tailwind up here. That's just hold it right here. That's good. That's they get a fly right back on runway line. See that? You need your third notch to fly. Ah, uh -huh. our dudes are going to do a slip. See this here? There's a little <laughs> bit of forward slip. See there? Yeah, you make that look easy, Rick, but uh, to me it feels incredibly bizarre. Okay, now you got the brakes. There you go, nice and easy. There you go. What happened is you're not putting that third notch flaps down, so that's why I said I, gotcha. I speak it. And, and, and that's what happened the last time too, is because you only had two notches of flaps. So you want to make sure that you're two notches on the down one and <clears throat> third on the base. Or you can do a one, two, and three. Down one, base, and final, that's fine with me. I don't care, okay? But when you see her like that, that's because you had only two notches of flaps. Okay, you're all set to go. On takeoff, don't be afraid to reach down there and just give it a turn or trim up to maintain your 80 all the way around. Okay, off we go. Great Barrington 538, departing runway 29, staying in the pattern. Everything green. Air speeds alive. Concentrated on that right rudder now, okay? If you see the airplane climbing out like that, that means you need right rudder because it's slipping through the air. And then when you add the rudder, that'll straighten out the wings. Ready now. Hold your ready. Pull the wheel. Pull, pull the wheel back. Pull the wheel. Pull the wheel back. Pull the wheel. There you go. Good. If you just pick a spot straight ahead, it's kind of an obscure little dark cloud there, so just use that as a reference, okay? And they say I need a little bit of right rudder, but I gotta hold that wheel back just to maintain my 80. Hold that wheel back. Hold the wheel back. Wheel back. There you go. Again, the other thing is, I just reached down here. Watch what I, I got the airplane for a second. Watch what I do. I just give one complete turn of trim. Take my hands off the wheel. There's my 80 miles an hour, so I'm not fighting it. Okay, so now I go ahead and turn my crosswind. Tell everybody to turn it crosswind. Great Barrington, 538, turning crosswind, runway 11. And we're losing visual reference. Oh, no, we got the airport. And yeah, you keep a tighter pattern, not bring the power back. Bring the power back, there you go. And just hold the nose down there. There you go. Forcing you to look outside flying the airplane, okay? Not that you'd ever do this uh, as a student pilot by yourself, but uh, if you get 
I'm in back after you get your private. It's perfectly legal to fly if you know the weather is holding like this, like 4,000 foot overcast and, you know, six miles. We got seven miles visibility right now, eight miles visibility. So this is VFR, you know, so until you get comfortable, you're not going to be flying this. But this sure show you sometimes you may get into this situation. It's no need to panic because I got all this stuff right now. I'm in a little cocoon, five, seven mile uh, around me. I got plenty of plenty of distance. The clouds are probably seven, 8,000 feet now. There you go. Very nice. Now pick your points. I go straight ahead. There's my L-shaped barn. There's that. Those are the houses. There's the uh, runway. So just make a little, little mental slide in your mind all the way around in the back. And you do that. Look straight ahead. You see those buildings there? Nah, that's the way it could. Just take your hand down. No, no. I do is I just hold it. You can feel the pressure. You're going to see that nose wants to come up. So let the airplanes fleet off. Bleed it speed off. Not take your hands right off. See that wants to go. If I put down the third notch of flaps, that may solve the problem. Now go ahead and turn your base, okay? Now take it in right off the wheel, take it in off the wheel, take it in off the wheel, see? Eight miles an hour, perfect. And now just do a nice, decent, watch the nose to the runway. See, that wind is blowing us here, so I'm doing, see this here? I'm turning a little early. No, see, I got the nose down. I've made the, don't, don't pull the wheel back, see? Just let the air, see, I got, see my hand here? That's like I got here. The airplane's trimmed up for 80, so the airplane's maintaining its speed beautifully. See this? There, uh, wait. If I see him coming down a little bit, then I can just add, if I get, uh, uh, too uh, low, then I can add a little bit of power. If I'm getting too high, then I can just take the power off. The wind is pushing us. Yeah, the wind is from this direction here. Yep. So you oh, see, I gotta yep, keep yep, a little. Exactly. Exactly. So now just, but don't push or pull because what happens is that's how I get in trouble. Now just watch out there. It looks good. As you're getting a little low, so just give it a little bit of power. Give it a little bit of power. Let the airplane fly over itself. Now just keep an eye on the runway, keep an eye on the runway. Don't push or pull, don't push or pull. Let the airplane do its thing. Now just see that second runway line, fly right to the second runway line. Get power all the way off, there you go. Perfect, now you see it's holding it back, just nice and easy. See that second runway line, second between the second and third runway line. Just hold it right like that, okay? Do a thing, let's come it down nicely. As you can see, it's coming down now. Nice and easy. Just look to the end of the runway. Now transition to a level attitude only. Nice and easy. Now hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. There you go. We can call it quits on. Now because right. it's starting to come down a little bit. You did a really good job on that. Did a really, really nice job. Ah, uh, it's your job to tell me that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You did fine. It did. And again, the, the good landings will come after you get a good pattern. Okay. So there's, there's a little spins of showers. That's a little too low for. And we still VFR, but I just, I just want you to break it into. We'll just park it at the gas pumps. And okay. South side. Yep. Yep. So. Did a really, really nice job. So that's the idea. You're just going to take, hold it easy, nice and steady, nice and thin. He's got the airplane nice L set up and then just let it come on down. And once you see that you're at that, then you just bring the power back and just relax and enjoy it. When I bring the power back, I have to let the nose down to uh, maintain the speed because that's what it's trimmed for. I can't use both at the same time. Yep. Oh, right, now here's, on this airplane here, this is where the uh, registration and the... Uh, there's a within a certificate and here's a registration. So they go in that pocket because there is no uh, other form. Yeah. And then here we have the checklist. There you go. Apps are down. Pick fuel pump off. Radio equipment off. Ah, uh, yeah, they pull out. Uh, these are out. Oh, so you can't accidentally. Yeah, I can't accidentally knock it off. It's, okay. it's a deliberate act to shut them off. Nice. Okay, so. Excellent job.
Whew. You did a really good job today. Thanks. Uh, it's, it, I've got to. It's, it's intimidating, but today was also was good because you got, you had a limited amount of visibility. If you get to see the cane and you get like, okay, that's fine. But this way here, makes makes you concentrate. I, I don't have much visibility, so I want to do it here, 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 and then we got able to get both runways. So we got twice, we got a, we got two hours worth of takeoff and landings because we're just alternating runways instead of backpacking every time. Right. So we able to do that. So now you also got some practice on one one. So I went to open field. There's the pond with the island in the middle of it, and then there's the white building. I want to turn that. There's the field with the line of trees. That's basically 90 degrees to the runway. And as I come around, I just swing it around this way here. Yeah, I mean, I'm starting to understand like the mechanics of the plane, what needs to be done and why. Um, the ground reference, I go back and watch the videos. Yep, yep. And I, where I'm looking out, I'm not looking out and down. That's right. So I need to, and I'm, they're building blocks. Yep, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm trying to and conquer then, one at a time. And, and, and what and, I'll do is you'll be, I'll be a towel with me and I'll just put a towel over here and you'll fly to your plane by looking outside. And that's, and I just know that if I bring the carburetor heat on, power below 2,000, one notch of collapse, two notch of collapse, and just hold it level, and it stabilizes, that's about 80 miles an hour. Put the third down, you know, mm -hmm. stabilize it. And then, all I know is if I'm if I'm coming in on an approach like this and I can't see like that, I, I could be dangerously low. If I have the airplane like this here, I know that I can see where I'm going and I can see that I'm actually coming down. Mm -hmm. And then it's the attitude that you want on the part. Right, we'll get your GoPro. Yep, yep. Yeah. <sighs> This is not for any cameras. This 